Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have a card for you for the Serendipity Digital Crafting Video Hop hosted by TaylorMade Cards for You. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to cut down my cardstock first and I did cut the same type of base I always would, the A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. But then I'm going to score it at or sorry, it's it's not four and a quarter by five and a half. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and then scored at two and one eighth inches on both sides. This is an attempt at a gatefold card. This is my first try, so <laughs> bear with me. I have a few uh, tests in here, and I kind of have to play around with a, a few things, but I think we get there in the end. So we did get to work with this stunning paper from Taylor Made Cards for You. This is the Mrs. Darcy Digital Kit. And I chose this one you can see here on the screen. And I printed that out three times because I'm going to cut it down a few times to make uh, kind of what I was aiming for. Now for my gatefold card, I did have to cut down my card stock here. And you're going to see that I'm cutting it down to go on top of those two flaps, which are about uh, two and one eighth inches wide by the five and a half. Um, and I do have to kind of play with my measurements a little bit. Uh, you'll see that I, I trim them down and then I kind of have to take a little bit more off. I kind of eyeballed it a little as well. Um, it's kind of hard to get it perfect and I knew I wanted to black matte everything because I thought it would look stunning with this paper design. So I kind of eyeballed a lot of my measurements. Um, so here you can see I just lined it up on a, the side of the black cardstock and then I'm going to pull that into my trimmer and trim it down as well. The black cardstock was for two reasons. A, because I love to matte everything because I think it looks stunning. And B, to add some weight to this card, uh, the printed paper. I use decently heavy printer paper, but it's not sturdy enough to hold up for a long time, I don't think. So I do, I did mat it all just to add some um, heft to the cardstock because I was concerned that uh, it wouldn't be able to hold up. And I, you have to be a little bit careful, at least with the printer paper that I use, not to add too much moisture to it because it will try to warp. So you'll see when I did the gluing of those ones down onto the black paper, I was really careful with how much glue I put down. And then you're going to see here that I'm going to glue those onto the two gatefold panels. And I am going to black matte everything. Uh, we're going to do a belly band here in a little bit. And I pretty much do the exact same steps. So I'm not going to show it to you every time. But I'm trying, I'll am trying. i try to show you all the steps throughout this. But I kind of jump around a little bit. So bear with me just because it was my first gatefold card and I kind of got a little confused at a few spots here so just just bear with me as we go and then here you can see I have the belly band and now this is nine and a half inches by one and a half inches and then I scored it at I believe two and three eighths on both sides it is going to overlap a little bit but I wanted it to uh, so that I could glue it together and make sure that it was straight so you don't need it to overlap I made it a smidge longer than it needs to be but that's just kind of what I did to uh, make this work for what I was kind of after and I am now going to glue it down and you'll see that I kind of manipulate it to make sure it's straight so let's talk about the hop so this hop is hosted by uh, Taylor made cards for you they supplied this beautiful digital kit the mrs. Darcy digital kit it's just stunning I have it linked and listed down below if you want to check it out please do check it out it's just I only used this one paper because uh, I had this idea for a gatefold card but there are so many other elements in here that are just stunning so make sure you go and check it out and make sure you check out the other people in the hop um, there are a lot of amazing creators that get in on these hops and they're just you got to check out their ideas because I mean we all have the same kit but we all came up with such different ideas that I think it's so interesting to go and check out the other creators also I believe there is a giveaway um, I'll have all the information down in my description so you can check that out as well as the next person in the hop so make sure you jump around check out everybody leave them a like leave them a comment leave them some love uh, I think that there are just some amazing creators in here and, and we would all appreciate your love and support which thank you so much guys for coming by so you can see here that I've made the belly band I've stuck down a another piece of that stunning cardstock that's matted onto black cardstock and you also saw that I put a piece in the inside now I wanted to add a little bit of something on top of my belly band. So I took a stamp from Studio Katia. It's a Cup of Thanks stamp set. And I inked it up with a Versamark, a Versamark uh, Onyx Black ink. And I just stamped it down. 
I'm going to fussy cup this out. But you can see that I didn't want the cup. I just wanted the floral bouquet because I thought that if I stamped it on top of this same cardstock, it would look stunning as an added feature on top of the belly band. Uh, so it kind of all ties it in together. I don't mind fussy cutting. There is a matching die for this stamp set. I just don't own it. Um, if you owned it, this would be even easier. Uh, but I don't. And any bouquet of flowers would look stunning. And it doesn't have to be flowers. I think you could have stamped out multiple things. I just, I have a tendency towards flowers. So that's where my mind kind of goes. But anything would look stunning with this design. Because I'm not going to color it. I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm just going to fussy cut it out. And then I'm going to adhere it on top of my belly band. And you're going to see here in a minute that I make a mistake, but I will show you how I fixed it. So bear with me because uh, you're going to see it here pretty quick uh, after I kind of play with my layout and uh, get my sentiment ready. But I made a fun mistake here and, and I caught it right after I did it, but it was too late by that point. So then I had to figure out a fix. So I do have some sentiment strips from Simon's Stamp. This is the um, Blossoms and Butterflies release, and there's a happy anniversary st uh, sentiment in there. Um, I have an order for some um, anniversary cards. This is why I'm making this uh, an anniversary card. You could make this anything, a thanks or a birthday or so many things. This is just such a stunning set of cards, uh, sorry, a set of digital papers and digital elements that you could do anything with it and it would be stunning. But this is just kind of what I ended up doing just because uh, that's what I need. So you can see, this is where I made a mistake. I put 3D foam tape all over the back of that and then realized that when I stuck it down, it was going to stick to the uh, base cardstock. So you can see I bring in my Tim Holtz pick tool and I just pick off the foam squares that are overhanging. And if they're already adhering something down, I also... I also um, trimmed down, sorry my cat just dropped my water off the floor, hopefully you didn't hear that, but I just trimmed down what was kind of hanging off the edge. So I made a mistake, don't, don't adhere all over it, I get excited about 3D foam squares, so I have a tendency to just put them all over the thing and then get excited about it, but I had to go and remove them. And luckily they were super easy to just lift up a little bit and then trim off what was there that didn't need to be. And then I brought in my Nouveau Deluxe glue again and just adhered down my sentiment strip. And it just says happy anniversary with a little exclamation mark. Um, I think I cover up the exclamation point um, just with a little bit of the floral bouquet. Just because I kind of liked that then it looked like it was coming out of the bouquet. You could leave that or trim it off, whichever you prefer. I just think these sentiment strips are super useful. Uh, so I've been trying to use them, although I tend to forget that I have them. I did want a little bit more sparkle on the front because I love all the things that are sparkly. So I added some Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Pen just all over the florals in this image. And because the ink that I used is a waterproof ink, it had no problem. There was no smearing or no issues that way. The only thing with this, again, is my printer paper is not super thick. So I did have to be a bit careful with how much liquid I put down, which is why I kind of painted it onto my glass mat first to get rid of any excess. And then I painted on the flowers. And I just went over all of the flowers. And then I added three gems just to kind of accentuate the sentiment uh, because I just felt like the one side was a little bit heavy. So I wanted a little bit of sparkle on the other side. And that's pretty much the card I made for you. I'm going to give you a closer look of this card right now and show you all that sparkle and shine. I hope you think that it's beautiful. I'd love to know what you think. This is my first attempt at a gatefold card. So there was a few stumbles in there, but I think we got there in the end. So I'd love if you'd leave me a like, leave me a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't before, and make sure that you go and check out the other people in this hop. Um, I know that there's going to be a lot of really stunning cards and, and other projects made with this beautiful kit. So make sure to check out the link down below to get to the next person in the hop, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye for now.